Hey there! Greetings! I'm a high school astronomy teacher that has actively been using AI products in my classroom for several weeks now. In this channel, we'll explore how teachers can utilize AI products to enhance their own productivity and add enriched learning experiences for their students. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create custom timelines and organizers. First, we'll prompt ChatGPT to create the necessary components to make a graphic organizer. This organizer can be used as reference for the students or for the teacher, or it can be altered to make an accessible assignment. Then with a few modifications, we'll prompt ChatGPT to create a timeline as well. Let's get started. It's highly suggested you first create a ChatGPT account so you can follow along. The link's right below. Uh, ChatGPT is guided by what they call prompts which are actual language requests used by the AI to generate text. In the description below, I've added the text for our first prompt that we will enter into ChatGPT. That way you don't have to type it yourself. You can cut and paste it right into ChatGPT once you've got your account up and running. Okay, let's engage the AI. Okay, so this is the ChatGPT interface. Over here, we have the different chats that I've had with ChatGPT. It keeps a running history over here. Um, down here, I can change the light mode or dark mode here, where my face is. My guess is you probably have some boxes here in the center that show different things that ChatGPT can do, um, and it's some of its limitations. I'm gonna stay with ChatGPT 3.5 because that's what's free and available right now. Down here is where the magic happens, the text box. Now, I've already cut and paste my um, prompt request from the um, YouTube channel description. And here I'm going to ask it to build a graphic organizer that includes eight biomes, with a climate, a location, plant life, animal life, biotic, abiotic factors, and unique features. So now it's gonna actually build this graphic organizer for me, okay? Over here, it is uh, giving me the biomes, tundra, tioga, temperate, forest, grassland, desert, etc. And then here are the different columns that I specified. The climate of that tundra, the location, um, plant life, animal life, abiotic factors, and unique features of that particular biome. Now, it builds the entire biome for us, okay? And again, you could actually have specified what eight biomes and uh, builds that custom graphic organizer for us. Now, another thing I've been starting to do is ask it for some additional information. Maybe I could improve my graphic organizer. Let's ask the AI, maybe I can improve it. And sure enough, it gives me some ideas. Here are some ideas for additional information. Um, threats and conservation effort, human impact, oh, that's a good one, biome productivity, food webs, ecosystem services, etc. I'm going to go with human impact. I'm going to decide, I'm going to decide, I'm going to add that column. I think that's an important column for this graphic organizer. So I'm going back to my original prompt up here, okay, give you guys a second to prompt up there. Then I'm hitting this little edit button, okay, and then I'm just going to add another column. human impact. Save it and submit it and now I'm going to get a new graphic organizer but it's been changed and modified so that it's added this new column to the organizer. Okay. So now let's take a look at a different organizer. Okay so for this organizer we're going to look at River Valley Civilizations. So I asked Jeff GPT, we are building a graphic organizer for middle school students, column order, five River Valley situ civilizations, and then I listed them. Their location, dates, the political system, religion, economy, and cultural contributions. Okay, let's see what our organizer looks like. So great, so it's now it's building our organizer, okay, giving me the five River Valley civilizations that I specified their location, where they were, the dates of that they were, their political system, religion, economy, and cultural contributions. Now I got these metrics from the um, standard itself. So now let's go ahead and make this into an accessible assignment. So to do that, I'm going to 
um, go ahead and add a question to get me some assessment information. So taking over this prompt, using this chart and emphasizing social studies standard G6-26, focusing on comparing the cultures, write five short answer questions, five multiple choice questions, five true false questions that can be answered using this chart. So now it's generating me assessment questions that I can use as part of this organizer. So next I wanna show you how we can take this organizer's um, prompts and also use it to make timelines. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can use this same concept to build timelines. So I asked ChatGPT to build a timeline organizer that shows 10 key events in the drafting of the independence, include the event, the date, and the impact. So now it's building me a timeline based on the parameters I asked for, which is very simple, um, 10 key events, the date, and then the impact that those events had on the drafting of the declaration. So now also in the similar concept, I can ask myself some assessment questions about this. And here goes some true false questions. I can use those for an exit ticket. And then also it's going to give me some multiple choice questions. When was the stamp back, et cetera. And I can use this to prepare possibly for an exam down the road. But also, uh, let's try something in a, in a biology vein here. Let's build a timeline for how life started. So again, using this idea that we can actually have ChatGPT build us our timelines for us, um, I asked it to do 15 key steps in the evolution of life. Over here, it started with the formation of the earth. Okay, evolution of fish at 500 million years ago. Evolution of the dinosaur, extinction of the dinosaurs. Emergence of primates, emergence of homo sapiens at 300,000 years ago. So now it has built me a timeline showing me the steps of evolution. Now what we need to do is take these, this information and build it into an accessible document. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our River Valley Civilizations Organizer and let's see if we can make this into an assignment that we can hand out to the students. So you can just do the good old fashioned cut and paste and put it into a regular old Google Doc or Office Doc and you get a pretty good formatted handout as it is. You may want to take a little time to play with the colors and the spacing, but if you notice, ChatGPT made an error. AIs are not infallible. You have to check their work. Okay, now I like to bring it into a spreadsheet and polish it a little bit here first. So I'm just going to um, bring this in and let's go ahead and wrap the text so we can kind of see what we're dealing with here. Okay, now I like to transpose this so I could have my civilizations across the top. So without getting too much into uh, Google Sheets um, processing, I'm, I'm just going to control copy now this time when I paste it, I'm going to transpose it. This way I get my civilizations across the top. Okay. Then with a little more polish, I can get it to look like uh, this. Okay. Putting in a little bold, changing some fonts, adding some color. And then I can even take it to the next step and put it into the document that uh, is kind of becomes my teacher's guide. I added some pictures here. I've added um, some um, assessment questions, etc. But this is not what I would hand out to the students. 
typically what I would hand out to the students is a very raw one where I have um, taken the color out. I've asked them to fill in some of the information from other sources for them to go out and find their images because that engages their visual cortex along with the text messaging and accelerates learning. And of course I ask them to uh, complete the assessment questions. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. So, some other ideas you could try with your organizers. Um, build a graphic organizer table, include eight elements of a short story. The definitions of those elements, key bullet points of those elements, and an example. The examples were great. I highly recommend this one for English teachers. Uh, build an organizer about four states of matter. Include the state definition, the key property, and phase changes. Something for the science guys. Uh, build a timeline, okay, of the key events in Alexander Hamilton's life. Include date, event, and impact. Um, build a timeline of the key events leading up to the development of the first atomic bomb. Include date, event, and impact. So this shows you the flexibility that you can use to customize um, timelines and organizers for your classroom. A reminder, you're in charge. Your AI is very much like a remote student teacher. They need supervision and guidance. AIs can make errors. We saw that today. Misspelled worship. It can make up facts. It can hallucinate. This is rare, but it does happen. So you have to proof and fact check your AI's work. What we learned today. We learned that we can prompt ChatGPT to create customized graphical organizers. We learned that we can modify these prompts to create custom timelines as well. We learned that we can prompt ChatGPT to create assessment questions based on our organizers. And we learned that we can copy this content into documents to create assignments. Well, I hope I added some value to you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for your time.